I love that you're a girl dad as well because I saw this picture and you're I think you're untangling your daughter's hair. Are you like the uh, are you the tangle master? Look how look how terrified she looks. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, I mean, do you, are you a girl dad? Do you love leaning into that? Oh, I lean into it with all 280 pounds of <laughs> my body. Uh, I love that. You know, and, and Kelly, I have all daughters. I have a 19 year old daughter, a daughter who's five, a daughter who's getting ready to turn three. I was raised by women, strong women. So I've, I've had, my whole existence has been surrounded by estrogen uh, with the exception of my dog. Um, but I love being a girl dad and I love being a dad. And, and you know, I love, I, I, I had my first daughter I had when I was 29, you know, in your twenties as a dude, you're still trying to figure things out. And, and when you get into your thirties as a dude, uh, you're lucky if you can, can continue to figure things out. So I did a lot of growing up, uh, with my first daughter. So I'm really lucky and blessed to have really little babies these days as I'm a little older. So I come to, uh, you know, the father daughter relationship with a little bit more experience. Yeah. I think honestly too, I mean, I, I was a around 30, 31 when I, when I had my first and I think it's not even your age. I think it's just the experience. Like having a child is a completely different. I mean, there's no planning. There's no book. I, trust me, I read them. Like, there's nothing that can prepare you. Every kid is different. You know, it's just a, it's a hard thing the first time around, I think. You know, the second one for me was so much easier. So I think that, you know, any age, it's just like that first time you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but you're... Yes, and you're, yeah. and you're, ter you're terrified, right? You're terrified. Yeah. It's like all parents. You're terrified the very first child you have. You, you want to make sure you're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. You're always checking to see if you're breathing, what's going on. You're, you don't, you yeah. don't get any sleep. Uh, but it, it always, I always like to say that, you know, with children, they are our great equalizer. Uh, if you think you got it all figured out, if you think you know how life is going to go, they'll remind you that you don't. And if, Ugh. and if you're struggling to find some answers and, uh, they're going to be right there too, to help you find those answers. Yeah. That's what children do. I, I agree. They keep you honest. Um, well, I, here, I love this. I was crying at this video. I thought it was so funny because Mike, this is so my son, Remy. Um, he's four. And here's your daughter, though, Tia, in your pantry. So what's going on here? Tell everybody what's going on. <laughs> I came around the corner and she, there's boxes of spaghetti on the floor. And, and, and you could see she's pulling them out and throwing them on the floor. And I said, OK, so who, who did this? And she goes, I don't know. And I said, well, you have to look at me when I'm talking to you. And she looked up and I said, who does this? I said that the spaghetti fairy come and she's like, yes, the spaghetti fairy came and threw all this spaghetti on the floor. And then right in front of me, this is this is the brilliance of kids right in front of me. She drops all this, the spaghetti on the floor and she goes, oh, no, she did it again. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the video. <laughs> Like, and your laugh, your chuckle, you're like, wait, what? Are you, are you serious? I'm like, it's so like, hard. This, the spaghetti fairy did it again. It's just like. <laughs> oh my God, my son, he will, he will lie right to my face. And then I'll get, I get him, I, I kind of know his, his like tails now, but I'm like, oof, you, you're tricky. I'm worried about teenage years. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Help.